13 on your side's Money Guy, sponsored by Mercantile Bank. Federal student loan payments have been on hold since early 2020. At last check, those payments are set to resume in a little more than a month. In this week's Money Guy, we're getting some help from a student loans consulting company on how to make sure we're prepared once those payments kick back in. It's been more than a year since our federal student loan bills had to be paid. So first, it might be a good idea to double check who your loan servicer is as this might have changed. If and when those payments kick back in, you'll want to pay on time. You want to make sure your loan's in good standing because if there is a loan forgiveness, your loan needs to be in good standing. Take a look at, can I make my payments? If not, look at the federal programs that are available for you in order to keep you going in a good direction. There are income-driven repayment plans available to name just one of the federal programs she referenced. This is based off of household size and income, which may have changed over the last year, but it's important that you read the fine print. It could decrease your payment significantly. Yeah, will it in the long term uh, charge you a little more interest? Absolutely, but at least your loans would be in good standing. And if that $10,000 loan forgiveness comes in, on average, people have thirty dollars to $35,000 of student loans. You're still going to kind of be left with $20,000, twenty five dollars or more in student loans. So let's start preparing and figuring out ways we can go ahead and get these repaid. Now, of course, if you're able to, there are benefits to still making payments during this pause because interest rates on student loans have also been put on hold. Any payments go directly to the principal balance, which could help to cut down on the time it takes to pay off your loan.